Warning, learning martial arts is hard work. Take care of yourself by resting if this workout makes you feel tired. You may need to work with this program several times before you have the stamina, flexibility, and skill to complete all the exercises. Not all activities on this video are suitable for every child. Just do the ones that feel right to you. The use of this or any other physical program may result in injury. The creators, producers, participants, and distributors of this video disclaim any liabilities or losses in connection with the exercises and instructions presented in it. Attention all parents. It is important that your children are always supervised by an adult while they enjoy this video. The magic of martial arts teaches exercises that should be performed only by children in good health, in an open space away from furniture, other objects, pets, and children, in loose, comfortable clothing, and always under the supervision of an adult. So kids, if there isn't a grown-up with you now, go ask one to join you. Get ready to experience the magic of martial arts. The master teaches me to keep within my mind. The path to freedom lies within one step behind. We let the bad go by and find we're free to fly. If we walk away, run away, step away, get away, that's the way to always win the fight your way. Just walk away, run away, step away, get away, any way that lets you be well on your way. If you wait, if you stay, you can be. Harm's way, I can say I'm okay if I turn and walk away. You will always be the winner if you make yourself much thinner, if you let your feet propel you to a place to only smell you and let your spirit tell you fight only when you must and only if you can fully trust that you can. Walk away, run away, step away, get away. That's the way to always win a fight your way. Just walk away. Way that lets you be well on your way. If you wait, if you stay, you can be in harm's way. I can say I'm okay if I turn and walk away. Just walk away, run away, step away, get away. That's the way to always win a fight. You go away. Just walk away, run away, step away, get away. Any way that lets you be well on your way. Walk away, run away, step away, get away. That's the way to always win a fight. Now close your eyes. Wow! Who are you? Ah, I am Master East West. Is that who you are or where you are? I'm the spirit of martial arts, the keeper of ancient secrets. Can you teach me how to punch and kick and... <laughs> well, of course. But there is much more to karate than that. There is? Oh, yes. I can teach you how to win a fight without ever throwing a punch. I can show you how to change into a warrior so awesome that bad guys will never even think about picking on you. You can? Oh, yes. Karate is magic. That happens in your mind. Teach me, please. Hmm. Why do you want to learn karate? To beat up the guys who pick on me and call me names. Huh. <laughs> Wrong answer. Why? Because karate is the art of self-defense. And it should only be used when someone tries to hurt you or someone you love. What if someone takes your lunch money? Isn't your life worth more than a burger and fries? Yeah. I will teach you how to do karate if you promise that you will only use it when your life is in danger. Where did Master East West come from? Thousands of years ago, I was a monk in India. Back in those days, I was known as Bodhidharma. About 1,500 years ago, I walked to China and started a temple called Shaolin. Other monks joined me there. We meditated and invented Kung Fu. Wow! During the next thousand years, I traveled all over Asia teaching martial arts. 
400 years ago, I was hanging out on an island off the coast of Japan when an evil king sent his soldiers to attack the farmers. When the farmers fought back, the king had all their weapons taken away. I helped the farmers figure out how to fight back with their empty hands. That was the beginning of karate. Karate means empty hands. It's good for us today because we don't carry any weapons, but we always have our empty hands. Wow, he's an ancient fossil. Pretty cool, huh? Where does he live? In a cave. Does he hang upside down like a bat? No, he teaches me karate there. I want to go there too. I want to learn the secrets of self-defense. You can, but only if you promise. I promise. What about you? Do you promise? Say it with me. I promise I will only use karate when a life is in danger. <laughs> West? In person. Will you teach me karate? You mean the art of? Self-defense. Hmm. I will teach you the single most important self-defense technique in martial arts. Thank you, Master. Pretend that a bunch of big, mean guys are coming at me. Okay. I go like this. I take a deep breath, and I go... He ran away? That's right. Very good. Running away is the best defense? Oh, you are a quick one. Yes, running away is always better than getting hurt. Won't people think I'm a chicken? Hmm. This is a chicken. And everybody can see that it doesn't look a single thing like you. I get the point. But I've got the best defense. These. <laughs> Let me show you how to use these. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll show you the better thing to do with this. Yeah. Here's a better defense. You pretend to be the bad guy and tell me that my mother has smelly feet. Your mother has big, fat, dirty, smelly, funky feet. Why, you, 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 Joker, you... You know that my mother is just as pretty as your mother. I get it. You just walk away. <gasps> the girl's a genius. But what if somebody tries to hit you? Look in here. Come on, Squirt. Look, I don't want to fight. Tough. Hey. Oh. Hey, get Come on, let's get out of here. Wow, that was great. What was it? That was karate. You know karate. Why didn't you beat them up? Because that's not what karate's about. It's not? No. Each class begins with relaxation. We get quiet inside to clear the worries out of our mind. As we watch our breath go in and out, we take a look at the fear and anger inside ourselves and let it drift away. We bow at the beginning and at the end of the class to show our respect for the art. And then we have fun. Yay! Whoa, 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 not that kind of fun. Goofing around is a good way to get hurt. Jumping rope is a good way to warm up and build your stamina. Whoa! Oh. Whoa. <laughs> when is a knot not a knot? When it's not. It's very important to stretch and warm up before you practice martial arts. If you don't, you could pull a muscle or hurt yourself while you're training. Okay, now, roll your heads like bowling balls. Great, now the other way. Now spin your arms like propellers. Now the other way. Ah. Now stretch your legs like rubber bands, okay? To the right. And to the left. And forward, and the back. Now spread your legs out as far as you can, and uh, try to touch the floor. Yeah, good, that's good. Now butterfly, butterfly. Ooh, this is one of my favorite ones. Yeah. Practice these warm-ups every day, and pretty soon your muscles will be able to stretch further. 
Now when your muscles are all now loose and warm, line up. Hey! Remember how Matt handled Joe? Now I'll show you how it's done. Tough. It takes lots of practice to be fast enough to avoid a punch. The safest way to learn is to practice with me. So stand up, stand in front of the TV screen. Good. Now, I'm going to throw a punch, and when I do, you duck. All right. First, take a deep breath. Ah, let it out. Because the looser and more relaxed you are, the faster you'll be. Here we go. And duck. 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 Quack. OK, now that is really great. Now let's practice by stepping to the side. As you see the punch coming at you, step out with your right foot and swing your left foot behind you. OK, let's practice. Take a deep breath and let it out. Turn. <laughs> Turn. Turn. The more you practice, the faster you'll be. Since karate is the art of there is no way for you to attack someone else. You must wait for the other person to try to hit you first. That means that your first move will usually be a block. When Matt caught Joe's punch, it was one kind of block. Another kind of block is called the X block, and it's used when someone tries to grab your throat. Cross your arms in front of you and pull out to the sides. Let's see how it looks in action. Hey! Get it! Even if you're small and you don't have big muscles, you can still have power if you know the secret. Inside this treasure chest is the secret of power. What do you think it could be? Some kind of magic potion. An invincible laser sword? One of those dumb power rings? Ha! <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> That's right. The secret of power comes from the position of your legs. The front stance is the one we use the most. Start with feet shoulder distance apart. Slide one foot back and bend the front knee. Feet are pointing straight ahead. The front knee is over the front foot. Your back heel is on the ground. Most of your weight is on the front foot. This gives you a lot of strength. Watch. See? Supergirl. Now, get into your disguise. The trick is to bend your knee and get low. The lower you are to the ground, the harder it is to knock you over. See? Ah! That was a key eye. You try it. Yeah! Think of it as breathing out loud. Yeah! Yeah! It releases energy, it makes you stronger, and it scares the peanut butter and jelly out of the bad guys. Yeah! <laughs> the sound comes from your stomach. Put your hands there and push out the sound. Yeah! Yeah! It should be loud and short, and your key eye should be different from everybody else's. Ah! Oh, yeah! Get it! A strong ki is a powerful weapon. Watch this. Kia! Now let's use it as we get our kicks. Because karate is the art of... self <laughs> Kicks and punches are only used after someone else has attacked you and you've blocked his first move. Once you're in a fight that someone else started, you may need kicks and punches to help you get away. It's never all right to beat up another person. Tracy used the front snap kick after she blocked the attack. Your legs are the strongest muscle in your body. A kick can be your most powerful weapon. To do the front snap kick, raise your leg with your knee bent, then snap your foot out quickly and bring it back even faster. Then put your leg back down. Now try it at full speed. Don't leave your foot out there. The other guy can grab it and pull you down. Snap it out and bring it back as fast as you can. Curl your toes back and hit your target with the ball of your foot. 
or straighten your foot out and hit your target with the top of your foot. Don't ever hit your target with your toes. They'll break and you'll lose. Never practice on another person. Kicking friends or family members is dangerous. To be safe, you can practice with an imaginary partner or your own shadow. You want your kick to land right here. Stand up and face the TV screen and stretch your leg out to be sure you're not going to be too close, okay? Give yourself plenty of room so that when you kick, you're not going to hit the TV set and you don't break it or even hurt your foot. And don't forget to key eye. Ready? Okay. Front stance. Oh, good. And kick. kick. Good. Kick. Ah. Kick. Ah. Hey, give it back. I was playing with that. No. I'm telling Mommy. You better not. You're going to get in trouble. If you tell, I'll kick you all the way around the world. Wham, wham, danger, 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 danger. What do you mean? I can wipe up the floor with that pipsqueak. I'm on Promise Patrol, and you seem to be on the very verge of breaking yours. I am? Is your life in danger? No. You promised you wouldn't use karate unless your life was in danger. But she made me mad. That's why karate won't work for you now. If you let someone get you mad, you'll do something stupid, and they'll win. I can't help it. She just made me mad. Well, everyone gets mad once in a while. If you feel yourself getting mad, just take a deep breath and remember your promise. You will never, ever use karate on your friends and family. The master teaches me to keep within my mind. If someone makes you mad, it rises high within. You bring it down again by breathing like the wind. Breathe it out. Shout it out. Three deep it out. Yeah! I take three deep by the night. something silly out of your anger that could get you hurt or hurt others unnecessarily. That's a good question. Let's look and see. Hey, kid. Hey, kid, give me your money. I said, give me your money, twerp. OK. Here. What's this? Two bucks? Don't play games with me, kid. I know you got more money than that. Let's see it. I don't. Really? That's all I have. Go ahead. Check it out. Look at my pockets. Yeah, I'll check it out. Like this. So even though Matt was backed into a corner, he just used his karate until he saw a chance to run away. 
What was his first move? Egg loss! Right! Wow, it makes me feel tingly all over when you pay attention to your lessons. Matt used the outside block. Let's try it, okay? Fighting stance. Yeah. Fighting stance is basically the same as front stance. It's just a little shorter and a little higher. Don't take the fighting stance until the other guy actually makes a move because surprise is one of your best weapons. Don't let the other guy know that you know karate until the very last minute. The outside block starts with your arms crossed in front of your body, okay? Then the blocking arm moves across your body to stop the punch as the other hand pulls back into a fist at your waist. In karate, when one hand moves, the other hand usually moves in the opposite direction. When you push and pull the same time, you're twice as powerful, like this. Yeah! Come on, you try it, okay? Stand up in front of the TV set, okay? Cross your arms, okay? All right, right there in front of you, okay? And when I punch, you do an outside block. Are you ready? Okay, breathe and now! Good, here we go. Get ready to block. Outside block, now. Good, and block, and block. This is the right way to make a fist. Put your thumb on the outside of your fingers so you won't hurt your hand when you land a punch. Hit your target with the first two knuckles. Always keep your wrist straight. If it's bent like this, you could break it. And remember, the best kind of punch is the kind they serve at birthday parties. Mmm. What do sea monsters eat for dinner? What? Fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, line up. Front stance. Hyah! A straight punch is with the same hand as the leg that is forward in your front stance. Usually it starts close to the body and twists as it moves towards the target. Twisting gives the punch more power. But for greater speed and surprise, Matt started from where his outside block ended up and went straight for his target. When you punch with a hand that's on the same side as the back foot and pull the hand over the front foot, it's called a reverse punch. Both of these punches travel in a straight line towards their target. If your punch curves, it's really easy for the other guy to block it. So practice punching straight ahead and don't forget to kia, okay? Front punch, kia! Reverse punch, kia! Uh, 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 uh. So you punched him twice. Then what happened? Well, then I kicked him. Matt's final move was our old friend, the front snap kick. Now let's put it all together. Hit it! These are just a few of the basic karate moves. There's a lot more left for you to learn. Like the back kick, the side kick, and the knife hand chop. And many, many more that you'll learn in future lessons. But until then, remember, the best way to solve your problems is not to use karate at all. 
One of the most magical things about karate happens when you share what you know with people you love. Look into the future. Then snap your foot out and bring it back as fast as you can. Kia! Like this. Kia! Yeah, but be sure to hit your target with the ball of your foot or the top of your foot. Never hit anything with your toes or you'll break them. Well, how's this? Kia! That's great, Dad. You know, you're really good at this. I hope someday I'll be as good as you are. Master East West, I want to be just like you when I grow up. You know what? You already are. I am? Yes. Watch this. <laughs> you mean you're just an ordinary guy? That's right. But where's Master East West? He lives inside of me, and he lives inside each one of you. The Master teaches me to keep within my mind. There's someone deep inside who knows what path to find, who shines with us inside and showers us with light. There's a winner inside each and every one of us. There's a warrior inside Doing what's right And you're hard to beat When you're on a run And you're hard to beat When you know someone Is on your side Cause there's a winner inside Each and every one of us Be prepared to stand up for who and what you are and use the power of karate only as it should be used to gain your freedom and to open your path to fly away from those who will harm you. Always use your strength and discipline to help make a peaceful world. Because I'm hard to beat when I'm on a run. And I'm hard to beat when I'm having fun. I'm on your side. Always end your workout with relaxation. Sit down, make yourself comfortable. Now, take a deep breath and let it out. Make your mind like water. Water flows around whatever is in its way. But in time, it can wear away even the biggest rocks. When I studied karate in Japan, my master used the traditional samurai gong to make his mind still. 500 years ago, this gong was a peace offering to the emperor from the shogun after many years of war. The ancient warriors found inner strength by concentrating on the sound of the gong. True power comes from inner peace. The more you practice, the better you'll be. So rewind this tape and play it again. <laughs>